a number of individuals ask the question, you know, that, that we have this problem that after you make the imprint, the imprints will have a tendency to disappear as you get rainfall or snow and the snow melts, etc. Uh, what we are wanting to, to show you here is that there is, is benefit to doing this. In order for the imprints to work properly, there must be some small type of tillage in front of the imprint wheel that we can make a print. And it doesn't have to be uh, uh, aggressive tillage by any means. And in a certainly example is exactly where I'm standing. Uh, we imprinted uh, this area that you see right here across. And I want to immediately point out that where we had minor um, soil agitation on the surface, where we didn't do this, you can look here and see the corn residue. This would be hindering residue uh, for early spring planting. This here is going to be a 60 to 70 percent residue covering that has been chopped a little bit um, and of course will dry out much quicker than this material over here on top of this here probably will harbor uh, a number of insect debris that will hatch out and and uh, pose a, a planting problem uh, or excuse me uh, an insect tolerance problem later on in the growing season. What we want to show you here is is to Riley's going to step in here and I'm uh, pointing right now at where some imprints were made from the fall. We can tell that where they're at. It's difficult to show on your camera, but Riley, if you would take about a four inch deep spade here and last dig that residue up. As I said, the soils here are rather damp, but immediately we find something we really like to see. There was dozens of them here when we he first made the stab. Look for a worm. Yeah, lots of them. Worms. Lots of worms. And if we went through and, and we dug in every one of those inserts that we have made or imprints that we have made, what we're going to do, we're going to find lots of worms. Okay, if I step over here now to the non-treated imprinted area and we took a stab right here, we'll see if we can find any equivalency to the worms. And simply we do not. That's, that's really impressive there. Also notice this soil structure. This is something new. Notice the soil structure that you see right here and the soil structure that you see right here, this is finer, a little uh, more granular, uh, looser, very friable, root penetration, good. This over here, gonna have to dry a while. And then if we got in and would accidentally get into this and it's too wet, uh, then we would be facing emergence problems. That's impressive, isn't it, Riley? 